Hello and welcome to this edition of the Israel Homeland Security Special Report. I'm David Jones and today we have the pleasure of interviewing Zohar Devere, CEO of Zohar Devere Yazamut. Zohar, welcome and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Your company has developed a system that can distinguish friend from foe, or IFF as we call it. And this system has been in use with the Air Force for some time, but now your company has developed IFF for the soldier in the field. Can you tell us more about this system and what it does? The system that we are talking about is the system that allows infantry uh, combat soldier, warrior, to build a, a technology that allows him to decide where, whether he has performed or not a shooting toward a target. When he looks at the target from the side of his weapon, he has few options, only four options. He can perform a shooting when he has to perform shooting. It's okay, he kills the enemy. He can perform shooting when he has, doesn't have to perform shooting. Then he kills his friend. And he does perform shooting when he has to perform shooting. Then somebody kills him. And he does not shoot when he does have to shoot. It's okay. So our system is a wearable technology system that works on the radio frequency transmitting on a, when it helps a soldier to decide whether uh, perform shooting or not. It is a decision-making support system. So what you're saying is a soldier in the field can look through his sights and determine whether the man that he sees is the enemy or not. He wants to decide because he does not know. So at this point, our systems come into the picture. It is a, a widen it widens a, a tactical combat situation awareness of the soldier. So, so that soldier has ability uh, to improve his decision. The system does not make decision for soldier. It just helps him. He says to the soldier, this uh, target you are looking at is your friend. Still a soldier can make a decision to shoot. So it will eliminate what we call friendly fire. Absolutely, and not only the friendly fire, there is another uh, issue here. Uh, it decreased the number of soldiers that were killed just because they did not know whether to perform shooting or not, because they looked at the enemy, but they were not sure, sure about it. How far are you from production? Just now I'm uh, at premature stage. We have a demonstrator, technological demonstrator. We have proof of concept of a radio frequency based system. Our system is a radio frequency based interrogator and radio frequency based responder. It is completely unique system. There is no such a system. So we now proved the concept and now we started to develop a further, a further the role of the system. So every single soldier will have to carry this system? That's, exa that's correct. Every soldier has the system because sometimes the same soldier interrogates another soldier and the same soldier at another time is interrogated by another soldier. So every soldier wears the system. It is wearable technology. Thank you very much, Zoe, and thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today.